these commercials. You guys and girls know what I'm talking about. The stupid Geico insurance commercials of the over enthusiastic people who say it's gonna wreck. But the good news is I just saved two thousand five hundred forty three dollars on my car insurance. No, that's not the type of stuff we need. Or the stupid commercials with the uh, weight loss pill that you can get for only $29.99. $29.99! That's a good deal. No, it's not. No. And one last complaint for commercials is the stupid old guy teaching people how to use a computer. With my program, I'll guarantee in just 10 weeks that you'll be able to know how to use a computer. Just like that lady I told, and she figured out everything, and she's all like, I don't know how to use a computer! I took this program and I learned in only ten weeks! No, we don't need that. What we need is TV, that's all. We don't need commercials. Bunny commercials, yes. Stupid commercials, no. Stupid commercials can go on the internet. Actually, you know what? No. Stupid commercials should not exist at all. Pop-up ads are a really bad problem on the internet and we don't need more on TV, alright? If you want stupid commercials, just, I don't know, go get hit by a truck or watch some Carlos Mencia. I don't know. This next one on the hit list, many people may be opposed to it because it may cause more violence, but I think it's still a good idea. Ever get that feeling that the one guy at work really doesn't like you? He's been eyeing you and he's been getting on you. He's all like, you better do your office work or I'm going to fire you. Or that co-worker of yours who likes eating stuff in front of you when you work the whole entire time. Or, the person at school who you hate the most, and they still bug you, and they still pick on you, and a bunch of other stuff. One solution to solve this. Not a final solution like Hitler, but the world would be a lot easier if we could just go mortal combat. Think about it. Throw it down in the middle of an office room. I'm not taking your crap anymore. Mortal Kombat, right here. First one that dies wins. No, that's not right. Never mind. Third item on the hit list is people who catch on too late. I am also a victim of this, but this has been a problem, particularly in blends of pop culture. Example, Napoleon Dynamite, very good movie. John Heater, very funny man. What do you get whenever you add John Heater and Napoleon Dynamite and a bunch of stupid kids in high school? You get a destroyed trend. Yes. In, for instance, I was in band. Yes, I was a band nerd. I'm proud of it. Anyways, I have worn a shirt that said, Vote for Pedro, since it was a big thing in the movie, supporting his friend Pedro, who wasn't very popular when presidency in Napoleon Dynamite. I, want, I wore a shirt one day and everyone went ballistic they're like oh my god it's so cool it's just a shirt guess what the next day I saw five other people wear it and five other people and five other people and then slowly it died down I mean where were you people whenever it first came out 
you didn't even think it was funny whenever it came out. You just watched it on DVD or you pirated it off the internet and then you watched it. Why? To be honest, I was one of those people who watched it pirated off the internet. I thought it was hilarious. People didn't take the effort to pirate it off the internet and watch it. They didn't even know about it. Same thing for the underdog. Anchorman. Ron Burgundy. Will Ferrell. He's a funny guy. How come people don't quote him? I heard people quote Napoleon Dynamite all the time. Go you guys. Idiot. Like that. You don't need to do that. It's stupid. I do a bad impression. I'll admit that. But first time is great. Second time, you're pushing it. It's old. Alright? Just like the Dave Chappelle craze. He went to South Africa. He got crazy. No one cares about him anymore. I watched season three. I thought it was hilarious. My friend and I watch it all the time. We think Dave Chappelle's comical genius. No one cares anymore. Everyone only cared about the I'm Rick James, this bitch. You don't care about that anymore. I thought it was a whole big deal. Ooh, look at me. I can act like I'm Rick James. Well, guess what? He died. No one cared. Everyone only remembered that he was on Chappelle's show. They didn't respect him as a music artist. Honestly, I didn't even know who he was very well until Dave Chappelle brought him on. I thought he was pretty cool after that. But it's sad, Dave Chappelle, he's gone, and no one really cares about him anymore. And people are all wrapped up with Carlos Mencia. He's really not that funny. Next up on the list is people who listen to bad music. As an American citizen, it is the right of everyone to listen to what they want, believe what they want, and see or speak what they want. In other words, you like one thing, I like the other, but eventually we'll argue. Okay, that's fine. But, bad music is all around us. I personally don't prefer specific rock groups. I won't have any names mentioned because I'm sure I will have thousands of angry people on the internet thirsting for my blood, and I wouldn't want that to happen. Anyways, for instance, I'm not very fond of country music. That's fine. It's okay. Some people can tolerate me not liking it. Some people can't. Don't ever try to force that upon me. That's like shoving terrorism down my mind, my throat, saying, you got to be a terrorist. I'm not going to do that. I love America. Alright? Same thing with people who don't like the type of music you like. It's cool. If they don't like it, they'll probably let you know. Don't shove it down their throat. Probably not going to like that. Probably kick your ass for it, too. Okay, so same thing goes for me. I'm cool with any other type of music, some rock bands, but don't even try with country music or something bad might happen. Okay, last on the list is stuck ups. You know those people that just don't want to talk to you when you're in the same room as them and You'd rather talk to them or you feel like an outcast because no one's talking to you. And they should talk to you, but they're too stuck up to not talk to you. This is a common problem among high school kids like myself. And I wish it would stop. Because we don't need stuck up people in the world. We're going to have to talk to people every single day of our lives. So if one person is all ticked off about something, it can ruin the whole entire day for everyone. So my advice to stuck up people, get out of my way or just avoid them completely. That's all I got.